Hey YouTube! Okay, I look an absolute mess, but I couldn't, I can never find a time when I don't look like this <laughs> when I have time to do a video. Um, whenever I am dressed and have my hair done and my makeup on, um, I'm going somewhere and I don't have time to do a video. So, you guys get to see reality of <laughs> what I look like when I'm staying at home all day with my kids. Um, that's cool, whatever. Anyways, I wanted to do a um, five, five, why did I say five? I wanted to do a um, two month update on Piper. And she's wide awake, as you can see. Um, let's see, I haven't even, I don't think I've done an update on her yet since she's been born. Um, I've done like little clips and stuff of her and um, cloth diaper updates and all that kind of stuff. Um, excuse my child back here in her underwear. <laughs> we are um, still working on potty training. Um, I can go ahead and call her 100% potty trained though. We leave the house in big girl underwear, um, all of that good stuff. So she's doing awesome. So she's 100% potty trained, but um, she was wearing, hang on if I can find them. She was wearing jeans today and um, she can't unbutton them and unzip them on her own. So this way she can just go to the bathroom on her own um, while we're at the house. Anyways, again, off topic. Um, hi, Vivi. Hi, Vivi. <laughs> Anyways, Piper will actually be three months old on August 5th. Um, you guys, things have just been so crazy. I, I'm so sorry. I have not had time to do an update on this sweet, sweet little girl right here. Um, she's an amazing baby. She's so good. Um, on her two-month update, um, when we went to the doctor, she weighed 11 pounds, 5 ounces, um, <clears throat> which was up quite a bit. At her one-month appointment, she was, I think, um, 9 pounds 15 ounces I want to say um, so she gained quite a bit in a month um, and at her doctor they give us all these this little sticker that says her height and her weight and all of this fun stuff that I can put in her baby book so I really love all of that um, she's so alert <laughs> she's so alert all the time and looking around and she's just started smiling recently um, it was there was a good stretch of period there that I thought she wasn't going to smile. Um, she was a little behind on the smiling. Um, but she finally started, huh? She finally started smiling. Of course, she's not going to smile for me right now. Um, <clears throat> but she's doing awesome. She's still 100% cloth diapered. As you can see, I have, I don't know if I can even show you guys. I just finished diaper laundry and got them all stuffed and folded and all that stuff. So... Yay. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I should have taken notes because I don't even really know, like, what... Ooh, don't throw up on my baby. Because I don't really know exactly what to tell you guys or what you guys want to know, rather. Um, she's very clingy, and I know that no two babies are alike. And I know that Piper, realistically, is not going to be like her big sister was. Um, but Zoe was never this clingy. Um, with Piper, if she's awake like this, if she's up and I'm not holding her, this child is screaming as loud as she can. And I mean, having an absolute fit that I'm not holding her. Um, so if her eyes are open, she needs to either be able to see mommy or she needs to be in mommy's arms. And there, there's just no other way to it. Um, it makes things very difficult because she's awake a majority of the day now. She only naps maybe two or three hours during the day. And if we leave the house and are in the car, then she naps. But um, she only naps for such a brief period, and that doesn't give me a lot of time to get anything else done. And when she takes a nap, her big sister's up from her nap already. So they're not, like, on the same schedule, which I'm trying to fix. But um, it, it's very, very difficult. I can't put her in her swing. She's not happy in her swing. She's not happy playing on the floor on a pallet. Um, she's she's not happy in her rocking chair she's she's just not happy unless mommy's holding her so very very difficult my house is a wreck you guys my house is just a mess I cannot I don't have time to clean it um I can't get anything done if I'm sitting here holding a baby all the time or nursing a baby all the time or um 
I don't know, welcome to motherhood, I guess. It's just part of it. Um, I do find it very, very annoying, though. I hate, hate, hate having a messy house. Um, it makes my mind feel cluttered um, when I look around my house and everything's a mess. Um, but she's doing good other than the whole clinginess issue. Um, she had a little small breakout of cradle cap um, about a week ago, and she still has little, little bits of it, but um, for the most part, it's gone. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, I haven't even brushed my hair today. Look how awful this is. Oh my gracious. It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon, and I have not brushed my hair or taken a shower or anything. Um, but yeah, the cradle cap is pretty much almost gone. Um, as far as eating goes, she will eat anywhere from six to ten ounces per feeding. She's a little pig. She eats a lot. Um, and then two hours later, she wants the exact same amount again. So she's eating awesome. Um, as far as breastfeeding goes, oh my goodness, I'm not going to get too much into detail about it. Um, I'm still pumping. I'm still nursing. I'm still doing all of that stuff. But as of right now, I'm only getting six ounces a day, which is better than I had before. You know, six ounces, that's pretty awesome. Better than nothing, right? Um, oh my gosh, this cat. Oh, away. Um, so six ounces a day to me is better than her not getting anything at all. But um, it's still not where we want to be. Um, huh. Y'all like her shirt she's wearing? We stand up, Toodle. She's wearing her uh, little sister Piper shirt. And it's so cute. Yeah, it's so cute. She's starting to get fussy, I can tell. Um, anyways. What are you doing, Toodle? I had something in my head just a second ago that I was going to tell you guys and I forgot. <laughs> oh my gracious. Um, I'm sorry that this is crappy quality also. Um, all I have time to do is turn the webcam on, so I guess this is better than nothing. Um, huh. Is it better? Gracious, um, lost my train of thought again. Per you, yeah. I see Piper too. I see Piper too. Anyways, um, I'm really worried about her being so clingy to mommy, um, and putting her in daycare. Um, like really, really worried about about that. Um, I'm worried I'm gonna drop her off at daycare and she's just gonna cry all day long. Um. Which I hope she doesn't do, but, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah. See, what else is going on with Piper, huh? She can roll over from her um, her back to her stomach. Or no, from her stomach to her back. Not the other, not the other way around. Um, but, yeah, she's just doing good. She's just doing good. Um, I can't tell if her colic is gone or not. Um, at night, around... For a couple hours at night, she's just not happy. I don't know what it is. Um, by the time I get Zoe to bed and I get dinner fixed and all of this stuff, this child right here is so crabby. And there's just, she can be consoled though, but the only way to console her is me holding her, walking around, um, or bouncing her or something of that generalized nature. Um, so I don't know if that's colic or her just wanting mommy. So I'm a little confused about that. Um, Hi. She's just so darn cute. She's just so darn cute. Yeah. But, uh, oh, don't throw up on mommy. Yeah, let's don't throw up on mommy. Ooh, yucky. Um, goodness. Anyways, um, I'm going to do other updates 
I'm sorry, this is so scattered. I should have taken notes, and I probably left out a ton of stuff um, that I'm sure you guys want to know. Look, my eyebrows aren't even, like, straight. They're all, like, sticking up. Oh, my gracious. Oh, welcome to Mommy Head, I guess. Anyways, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.